Hello, and once again, welcome to my workshop. What I'm going to show you now is how to actually put this together. Now, if you notice, I've already put in here that brass thrust washer or thrust bearing. I, I prefer to use this method. It's a, a very old technique um, I've used for years for this type of thing. And um, it's very successful. You just, uh, once a year, I, I sort of strip it down, lube it uh, with, with a little tiny bit of grease and um, yeah, adjust it back up and, you know, backlash never changes. But, uh, you know, the more modern method, I suppose, is to put um, a thrust bearing race in there, which comes in, in three parts. Um, but, I, you know, you can use that as well. But um, for this build, I'm, this is the method I'm using. I'm going to show you how to um, put this together and how to adjust this type of uh, bearing up. And it's the same principle for um, a uh, roller or a ball thrust race as well. I'll zoom you in a bit so you can have a better look. Okay. So, let's clean that bit of, bit of oil or grease off there. Now, with this design, I have a, an oil way or an oil groove. Uh, that should be facing to the top. 
as a corresponding groove in the housing, which is there as well, which matches up with, with that one. So don't forget, when you put it together, they do match up. So all you do, simply do, is I have a hardened steel washer, which goes on the back of the, the bearing that's inside there. And it's a very, very, it's a very good fit. I, I like to machine things that are very good fit in. And that just simply goes with, with a little bit of grease. It's already greased, as you can see. And you'll notice that this diameter is a lot larger than that diameter. And it's that that actually stops. You know, what, what happens is when, when you tighten up this um, adjustment nut on here, it pulls the, the ball screw up against the bearing, up against this thrust washer here, and up against this thrust bearing, and that's what minimizes or eradicates the backlash. So that goes on there like so. Very, very good, nice fit. Now the nicer you can get these to fit, or you know, the better the tolerances you can make it. Um, obviously the better the, the outcome of machining at the end of the, the, the job, as in the CNC machine. So these go in here like this. These are, these are M6s. And I, d <laughs> I have noticed on some of the comments too, um, I will explain to you that the, the zero backlash ball screw and nut that I'm using for, for this X uh, cross slide here is a 12 millimeter. Obviously use half inch if you wish, but normally these are sold in, in millimeter and uh, this one is a 12 millimeter diameter and five millimeter uh, thread pitch and the z, uh, z axis is 16 millimeter with a 5 millimeter thread pitch. So that means when you set the, the, the motors uh, they're set identical. Okay and we'll go into that later on. Okay next thing to go in is this, this is a spacer. It's just an ordinary uh, hard steel spacer. And that goes in there like so. Quite well fitting. Now we get our adjustment nuts. There's a couple of little things about adjusting these up. And what you do is, and what I've, the practice I've done, is you do this one up as tight as you can with just two fingers. That's about the right setting. Now to verify that, let's just get this on here. Okay, that's, that's it. So then you get sort of fairly delicate with these, just nip that up. Now, there you go. You should be able to, you can actually feel if there's any backlash there. If you work it back and forth a little bit, and you know, the secret, I suppose, that you should be able to turn this with your fingers. I think I can take that up a little bit more. And see, it's gone, it's gone up a little bit because I've worked some of the grease out. You might have to adjust this a couple of times to get it um, right. 
Okay. Absolutely no backlash there at all now. It's not even detectable. You can't you can't detect any at all. So I've, I've moved it a bit now, so that some of that grease may have worked out. So what I'm going to do. Let's take it up. Even tighter. Okay, that's going to be about it, I think. Ah, oh, that's it. I can feel it come up on the. Just about turn that with my fingers. That is perfect. So that's how you adjust that type of, well, any type of thrust bearing. So, I hope you've liked uh, the video today. If you have, please press like and subscribe to my channel. And on my channel, I have two channels now, and uh, there's three over 350 uh, videos, nearly lost count. At this point, I would like to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. Without their help, uh, this wouldn't be possible. And if you would like to become a patron, please go along to my patron channel. I would be very grateful. So the next video, um, we will be very much closer to actually having this running by, via a computer. Um, really, I've just got to build the standoffs off. I've got to bore out, where are we? Ah. Got to bore these out to fit the shaft and the, the end of the stepper motor. Um, and just fit the step, stepper motors on and I have uh, a bearing and housing to fit on the other end of here. That's going to be a fairly simple job to do. So um, I think by the end of the next video we might, might be able to give this a little bit of a test run. So thank you for joining me for this video today and uh, all I've got to do now is say Bye for now, until next time.